As Canadians' lives and communication increasingly move online, the Supreme Court issued one of its strongest rulings on internet privacy yet. Police will need warrants to get IP addresses, a unique number assigned to every device on a network. Even though an IP address doesn't directly identify people, the court found it is a crucial link between an Internet user and their online activity, as well as the first digital breadcrumb that can lead the state on a trail of an individual's Internet activity. It's incredibly important when it comes to our understanding of how the court envisions privacy in the online environment. This case is about an Albertan man accused of making fraudulent purchases online. Calgary police were able to obtain his IP address without a warrant. Now the court has ordered a new trial for him. But the head of Alberta's Internet Child Exploitation Unit says this ruling will make its investigations much harder. He says getting IP addresses is often the first step in finding online predators. We're seeing an immediate impact already where uh, telecoms providers have already denied us information about the IP address. But civil liberty groups are calling this a win. The evidence showed, and I think it's common sense, that IP addresses are so important and connected to our online activity and the idea that the police could get them whenever they want without any kind of judicial oversight, again, was just a frankly outrageous idea. Civil liberties advocates say the reach of this ruling will go much farther than this individual case, with the possibility of affecting Canadian law and enforcement for decades. Kate McKenna, CBC News, Ottawa.